Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a first impressions and an eye look with this palette here. It's the KKW X Mario palette. Let's see if I can get that to pick up. So I ordered this over a week ago when it came in the mail today. It's this taupey undertone gray. It's a really cool gray. And then the words are all in a gloss. So whenever I got it this afternoon, I opened it up and looked at it. I have not done any swatches. I've only seen videos and reviews, which have all been good. It comes with this nice size mirror. It doesn't feel cheap. Here's a good look of all the colors. There are four matte shades, which are these two here, that one, and that one. And then the rest are have some shimmer to it. I believe one of them is something special, but I'm not sure. I'll have to look it up. And so I will be doing some swatches, and I will put those in the video, and I will also be doing an eye look. So we will get right on into that eye look. I've already done my entire face besides my lips, my blush, and my eyes. So I'm just going to do my eyes and whatever I come up with, I'll match my blush and my lips to that. But the rest of my face is done, including my eyebrows, which desperately need to be groomed. So, so I think I'll start with this center shade here since I have already primed and set my eyelids. I'm just going to put this here in the crease. And I'm going to work slow because I don't really know what to expect. So I don't want to go too heavy handed and then really mess up. Oh, and I'm just using a Morphe 573 brush to do this. Okay, so I have put my Amy, which is this one here, all in the crease of my eyes. Next, I think, I think I'm going to go for something pretty wild. So it might look crazy, but we're going to do it. I am going to, with this Morphe E17 brush, which is like an oversized pencil brush, I'm going to pack this darker shade here, which I believe is Albanian. The way these are listed, I'm not sure, but I think it's Albanian. Yes. I'm going to pack this on, I'm just going to pack this on the outer portion of the crease and down onto the outer portion of my eyelid. I'm just using press and motions right now because I am focusing the most color onto the outer portion. Y'all, I have this ugly pink hair bow on my wrist. Lord. Okay. Anyways, I'm just going to pack this color from the center of my lid on up diagonally to the outer portion of my crease. And I'm still just patting that right now. This brush is so dense that you don't really want to go back and forth with it or go in. You don't really want to blend with this brush. You more just want to pat with it. And then I'm going to go back in with that first brush and kind of blend out the edges. That blended very nicely. I'm really liking that. Now that I have pressed the shade into the outer portion of my eyes, I am going to, I'm going to take Libra here on my finger and, and I'm going to put it all over my lid and we're going to see how this goes. Holy moly. Okay, we just have to trust the process. Okay, okay. Okay. Now going in with this flat shader brush. But the but the but. Now going in with this flat shader brush from NYX. I'm just gonna pick a little bit more of that blue up on this and blend the edges of it out a little bit. Normally on a look like this, I would want to carve out my eye with the, well, my eyelid here with some concealer but I think I kind of want this to be blown out looking and not so precise so we're just gonna see where this goes oh no it's go it's falling out 
Darn it. Shoot. Now I'm going to take that first crease brush and I'm just going to blend out those edges. Now I'm just going to press it on with my little finger because I feel like that brush was kind of was kind of sweeping the product away. And I found that when I press instead of blend it on, it is staying quite a bit better. Now I'm just going to blend, blend, blend. Okay, now the blue is all on the lid. And where the blue shade and the outer darker shade met, it kind of formed a purple undertone shade. So that makes it perfect for me to pop this shade here, right where they meet. That is Vegas. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to use this E18 brush to pat that shade right where the blue meets that darker shade. Now I'm going to put this shade here, the 2008 shade, and I'm just going to use this Eco Tools brush and pop it right in the corners, right in the corners of my eye. Now I'm going to use this Morphe 506 brush and I'm going to go in with that transition shade and I'm just going to pop this under my eye. Now with an even smaller Real Techniques brush, this is the, oh no, all the wordings, all the words are rubbed off. I'm just going to use that purple, oh lord, I'm just going to use that purple and blend that right under my eye. Then finally with this Morphe M432 brush, I'm going to take the blue and put it as close to my lash line as I can get it. Okay, so that is it for the eyeshadow. I think I like the way that it turned out. Okay guys, so I am back from doing my eyelashes and eyeliner and I added a little bit of glitter underneath the lower lash line. And I'm super duper loving this look. Um, it's a very pretty warm look. It almost looks like a rainbow sunset. And I love it so much. Um, so my first impression of this palette is wonderful. I really like this palette. Um, I do feel like this shade here, which I believe is 2008, is a little bit chunky. But the color payoff is good. So, I mean, that's not bad. Just you have to watch for fallout, and that's usually with any eyeshadow. Um, the colors that I used blended wonderfully. I feel like these dark colors just blended and melted all together perfectly. And it honestly didn't take me that long for such a, like, dramatic look. It really was fun and easy for me to accomplish this. So, I really hope you all like this video and learn something. Also, I did use 2008 on top of the highlighter that I already had on, which is Champagne Pop. So, I really like that, and I feel like on my really fair skin, it looks good. So, um, overall, I do like this palette, but it was like $45 before tax and shipping and everything, which is pretty high for a palette. But, I mean, the colors are great. The payoff was wonderful. Of the shades that I've used. Please share this video, like, comment, and subscribe if you would. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye y'all.